Good afternoon, good evening, fellow Quillionaires. This is Jeremy Britton appearing for Boston Coin, and today we're chatting to Mikhail Bogdanov. I hope I got that pronunciation correct. Mikhail is 37. He has a legal degree and MBA in finance, and he loves gambling. He also loves legal studies, so that's okay. He's been involved in gambling businesses for the last 15 years and operates several gambling companies in both in individual countries and online. Now, when he's not gambling, Mikhail also likes to play billiards, probably for money, and box. And I'm imagining the boxing is when you lose, mate. You want to go out and punch a few people in the face. Is that what happens? Well, I'm trying to, uh, to do it professionally. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's always a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, your face still looks good, mate. So I think you want to keep, keep focusing on the gambling and the cryptocurrency and not so much on the boxing. Otherwise, you'll end up with your nose sort of over yeah. here. But tell us a little bit about, about Fire Lotto. What did you see in the, in the previous lotteries, like in the, in the normal country-based or state-based lotteries, and you said, hey, we can bring crypto to this? Yeah, uh, while operating uh, gambling in different countries and online, we realized that uh, the only um, gambling sphere, which has not been challenged or changed recently, like within many, many years, is lottery. Because lottery mm -hmm. is owned by the government. It's the government's monopoly in each country. And it's very hard to get into this business. The reason yeah. why is because it's um, it's um, it brings a lot of, like a, big portion of revenue to the government over 50 percent government takes itself from selling mm -hmm. tickets and then another like 30 40 percent it takes as taxes when somebody wins the jackpot but yeah. this um but this um gambling sphere has a lot of problems starting from fair rng which is a random number generator how they pick mm -hmm. winning numbers or how they um uh, report how much money they gained from selling tickets and how much money they give out uh, payouts, how long they take, how, how big are the taxes. Then also there are small countries that are big countries and they never intersect in the lottery because, and um, government doesn't want to share this market with any, it, its own market with anybody else. So people mm -hmm. cannot, like foreigners, for example, cannot play in U.S. lottery or in European lottery. Yeah. And people have to stick with their own national lodges. Sometimes, like they're not having a big jackpot. So, so in, in your in your home country, what size would the jackpot be? Well, the biggest jackpot would be uh, three, four million dollars, the most. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in Australia, and I think our, our big jackpot here is about twenty million. Um, and but in, in the US, they seem to have like three hundred million and, and obscene numbers like that. Yes. And uh, so people want to play for bigger jackpot. Maybe they want to play the Nash, uh, the worldwide lottery that has like a big, big jackpot. So they want to have mm -hmm. an access to it, but but they but they not because governments cut them off from from the markets, from local markets. Mm -hmm. Also, the the odds to win in 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 traditional lotteries are very small like for example in u.s lottery powerball or european lottery we have to guess six numbers out of 69 the odds are one to two hundred fifty thousand million. so that's, yeah, that's almost impossible to win uh, that's why we uh, when we hear people get struck by by lightning it happens more often than people win mm. the jackpot so all of these problems made us think how to change it. And once we studied the blockchain technologies, we realized that we can make it um, uh, large, very transparent, very reliable, and deliver it to, to the whole world, like to make a global lottery, where mm. people can have an access to it through the blockchain. It cannot be uh, influenced by men. Nobody can uh, influence the results or winning numbers. The payouts can be done automatically. Uh, and people would play for real money deposit on the account. Mm -hmm. So all of these problems uh, blockchain can solve. And what we managed to do, we built a uh, file auto, which is a fully decentralized lottery platform that, and its business model all controlled by smart contract, but not, not the man. So mm -hmm. Ethereum smart contract control the lottery 
and I uh, and um, this lodge is owned by the community who who has who owns our tokens. Yeah. So we delivered our lodge to the world, not like to a small group of people or government monopoly. Yeah. I, when when you told me that that fifty percent of the money is is taken by the government straight up, and like you know, in in my country they don't have a tax on lottery winnings. I understand in the US that it, it can be up to forty percent is taken out in taxes, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize that the ticket money was actually taken out as, as soon as you place your as soon as you place your bet the government's taking half of that money so when you guys have your structure which is i think it's about 50 percent more more payout how, how does that affect me as a potential winner yeah what what it uh what our platform does is whenever money are deposited on the smart contract address to play the lottery 70 percent of this money automatically go to the price fund Mm -hmm. Not 50, but 70% goes to the price fund. This is a record in, uh, in, this is a record because the government has a lot of expenses to to build its distribution chain and to promote and so on and so forth. So, uh, but in our business scheme, it's much more easier. We don't have so many men, we don't have any men involved in any operations. So we can save this money and put the uh, majority of the money we collect uh, to the back to the price fund. So for the player, it's much more interesting because the jackpot grows much faster and there are more money to play for. Sure. So 70% uh, goes to the price fund and then we have 30% left. Uh, so 10% is, is given out to token holders as a commission from ticket sales because mm -hmm. token holders have invested in our project and make it happen. So they deserve a share and the in the re in the platform's revenue, so re they receive commission on Ethereum uh, in proportion of the tokens they have. Fifteen okay. percent go to affiliates. This is how we advertise our product. We have, uh, as we since we've been in a gambling business for a long time, we know most of the companies that are on this market. So mm -hmm. what we propose to them is an affiliate white label affiliate program, where we connect our platform to their web page, for example and connect and they do the promotion we take care of the technology of the jackpots and everything of the mm -hmm. support and they put their brand name there so all the people that go to their web page can automatically play uh well like a global uh lottery so we don't yeah. as a platform we're not spending those huge amount of money for promotion and advertising then okay. also we have five percent left which are used for technical purposes is to uh, pay gas payments because all the payments, all the winning payouts are made on the behalf of the platform. Mm -hmm. So we need to pay gas as a commission for blockchain transactions. And the platform takes 5% from the money collected for to, uh, to pay this uh, transaction fees. And you've got to feed yourself as well, Mike. Yeah? You've got to feed yourself yeah. as well. Well, uh, why we motivate it and why we um, working on this project is because we're also token holders. Mm -hmm. So we are interested. We we own the fixed limited amount of tokens that was that, that were issued. The tokens are called float. Um, we took twenty percent of this float to ourselves to, as, a, as a team, yeah. and this is our. So more people play, uh, more it gets spread over the world. Uh, more commission we, we get ourselves and then the mm. price of the float will go up as well so this is our motivation why we're working on this product so we're just one of the mm, token holders one of the members of the community that owns this platform so like just just, just say, for example, you know, I'm, I'm not a big gambler. I've bet on a football game once in my life. I've bet on a horse race maybe twice in my life. Um, I can't even remember the, the last time I actually put money into a lot of That's just me personally. I know Australians are, are a nation of gamblers. Um, mm -hmm. But as, as far as from investment purposes, what you're saying is if I'm a token holder, I don't ever, use, I don't ever have to use that token. 
and I can actually receive a payment like every week or every month or whatever, as, as long as other people are gambling, I'm, I'm going to be making some money. How, how is that payment made? Is that in extra Fire Lotto tokens or is that in Ethereum or something like that? Um, this is how it's made. You can buy our token on exchange. We now are listed on more than five exchanges and one of them is top 20, is top BTC. Mm -hmm. So you can go on exchange and you can buy flat tokens for the current market price. Then you place, them, this is an uh, uh, ERC-20 compatible token. So it's built mm -hmm. on Ethereum smart contract. So you place it on your private personal wallet, crypto wallet. And then every two months, when the commission from ticket sales has been distributed among the token holders, you automatically receive uh, your portion of commission in Ethereum. In Ethereum, so okay. smart, Yeah, the smart contract checks which um, crypto wallets, ERC-20 based crypto wallets uh, have floats on its account at the moment of commission payout. Mm -hmm. It's done every two months at the same time. So it checks and if the, uh, it finds the smart contracts or it finds the uh, crypto wallets that, are, that, have, that contain our tokens and then the payouts, the payments are made automatically. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So, so this, this could yeah, be a great way of making Ethereum on, on a constant, ongoing basis. Yeah, you just hold them. You just hold them and you receive every two months, you receive the commission share, uh, which is nice. It's like a passive source of income. Yeah. Also, also to comply with legislation and SEC requirements, we, we made additional, we add additional uh, functions to the flood tokens and also to make it grow faster in price. Uh, you can also play with it. We accept mm -hmm. on our on our platform, token holders can uh, actually buy lottery tickets using Flot. Right. And the way it works, so what we do, for example, on exchange, the, uh, the token price is 20 cents per token. On mm -hmm. um, you can, the, 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 the amount of money you can buy it for. On our platform, we provide a higher exchange rate. For example, it's not 20, it's uh, 35 cents. So you can, so it's, uh, we all, we, we actually buy, buy them back from people for a higher price. And mm -hmm. people, if, like if you don't want to be a token holder, if it doesn't, if, if, uh, if you want to play some, you can use your floods and we mm -hmm. will accept them for the higher price, which is very interesting. And the price also always grows up, is, is, is bigger, like 1.5 times bigger, at least than, than the price on the current exchange. So we accept nice. them back. We buy them back from people. And that also complies mm. with SEC uh, regulations uh, to make sure that it's not a security token. Yeah, it's a utility token, but it's, it's got a lot more value on, on your platform than, mm. than others. So you, you broke down the, the prize pool for us there earlier, uh, saying 70% comes back to the gamblers, 15% to, to the referral, uh, so to the affiliates, mm. and 10% to the investors and 5% back for your costs and that sort of stuff. In, in the white paper, it actually mentions that referral partners can get up to 50% revenue from ticket sales. So how, how does that work? Oh yeah, well, that's a marketing, uh, that's a marketing tool. And uh, it's important to explain how it works. When we talk, uh, the ticket price is $2. So 70% goes to the price fund. 30% mm -hmm. left, right? So those 30% are actually the platform revenue. It's a gross mm -hmm. revenue. Mm -hmm. And then from this revenue, we'll make, expen uh, we'll make uh, 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 from this revenue, from 30%, we give 15% from the gross ticket price to the affiliate, to the referral per person. So mm -hmm. this 15% is actually 50% of the, of the, of the, of the, of the clear revenue right so it's right a marketing thing uh, okay okay I understand. I understand so we, we say that we say that 15 percent from the gross ticket price is your reward mm -hmm. or 50 percent from the revenue share because the revenue is 30 is uh is 30 percent that there is left yeah yep that makes sense so uh, apart from using the ex existing affiliate marketers that have been promoting other lotteries and things like that how else have you have you gotten the word out what else have you done for your marketing well um well, well what we do is we um we have a roadmap and there we uh, tell people what 
next steps are we're going to take in development and making the platform better, more interesting for people to play. We had uh, new services and uh, new functions, new games, and so on and so forth. So every time we make a major update of the platform, when we add some more things to it, we inform community about what we've made. So what we do, we make an airdrop, we put advertisement on, for example, coin market cap. Um, we promote, we tell people about these things in um, crypto-related um, um, mass media mm -hmm. and that attracts new players because not so they they read this they they see that uh, we're working on the product we you know make promotional uh, uh, free tokens giveaway and they mm -hmm. participate and we add more and more users like for example we finished our ICO on April 15th and then we had a five point five 5,500 uh, investors. Uh, since then, we added, we developed our project uh, more and uh, we made a promotion and now we have over 13,000 and wow. it's been only several months. That's but amazing. because marketing is very expensive and we don't have like that much money to, mm. to buy and buy uh, a lot of uh, marketing, like to do a lot, to buy a lot of advertisement. So we we'll really care how much money we spend on it. So not just to waste money of our investors. So mm -hmm. we usually do it when we um, make something great, something big, mm -hmm. and and then we promote this. Like for example, now we're about to finish our exchange. We built an external exchange, mm -hmm. so people can play not just only for Ethereum and Flat they can also play for fiat money. Right. So, uh, and we, we sure that 100% sure that the amount of people that will join the game will be, it will blast. Mm. So once we launch the service and hopefully it's going to be made within like a week because we're still waiting for the bank to give an approval. Mm. We're going to make another marketing another promotion of this of this new service for people to know yeah what one of the things that i found kind of interesting is you know, because crypto for for most people in most countries it's outside of government jurisdiction like they can't actually see what you're doing there obviously you know in in the lottery in the, in the united states if you win 250 million then straight away you know 10 million or, or 100 million is going to go in taxes um, but if I win a huge amount of cryptocurrency, then the government can't see that. They can only see that when I turn it back into fiat. So yeah. if, if you guys give me you know, 100 million bitcoins or something like that, that's fantastic. And it's, it's just sort of hidden out there somewhere in cyberspace and the government can't see it, the tax office can't see it, my friends and family can't see it. But then if you give me a big check, like of, of fiat currency, how is that going to work as far as privacy, taxes, government, that sort of thing? Um, well, crypto is not well regulated as a financial instrument. Like um, most of the countries have not defined what crypto is. Is it mm. a financial instrument? Is it a type of uh, electronic money? So there is a lack of regulations at this moment. Mm -hmm. Also, it's anonymous. Crypto is anonymous. It's uh, yes. decentralized and anonymous. So once you get your winnings, which is granted, guaranteed by the smart contract, so the person wins and he gets it automatically. Once he gets his winnings, he decides to himself, we have a legal, in our rules, we warn the person that once you get this money, it's up to you to declare them and pay off your taxes. Mm -hmm. So what the person can do, he can uh, go to an exchange, uh, say that I've got this money from any type of source. Like what? We don't really like, we do care for people to pay taxes and <laughs> <laughs> we do care about it, but it's up to the person. It, it is up to the person to do that. So if mm. he decides to turn them into fiat, I think it would be better for him to declare this money, pay mm. off the uh, income tax, and live off his life. Yeah. 
But if, if, if you give me fiat, then are you still not reporting it? Because you're, you're the one transferring it, Dan. Well, how our fiat payments are going to work, it's also very interesting. Uh, what we do is we, we have a license, European license for exchange for crypto exchange operations. So when the person plays with, or with fiat money, his money first are exchanged to Ethereum, mm -hmm. placed on his newly created crypto wallet, and then transferred automatically to the smart contract of the lottery. So, and then when he receives the winning, the um, crypto comes from the anonymous address of the smart contract of the lottery to his new created wallet, and then exchanged back to Fiat. So the bank will see that from his crypto, that he's doing crypto exchange operations. Mm -hmm. For the bank, it's going to be a crypto exchange. And it's actually, this is how it works. So it's up to the person to declare and explain to the bank why his account was, for example, $1,000 and then increased to, I don't know, $1 million. <laughs> but maybe he bought a Bitcoin for, for the price of, I don't know, uh, $3,000 as it was mm -hmm. a year ago. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then it uh, went up to the moon and became $20,000. <laughs> So it's a pure income and it, like it's up to the person to declare, but he will yeah. actually with some crypto exchange operations. Okay. As I, I know yeah, your, your background is in, is in gambling and, and legal stuff. Um, mm -hmm. what, what other specialists have you had to bring on? Because obviously you need someone to do the marketing and someone to do the coding. What other things have you thought of? Like what people will have in a team? What yeah. Um, we have a really strong team of uh, programmers mm -hmm. and we're really proud of them because nobody yet could deliver such things to the world. Uh, we also have a team of marketing. We have a marketing agency. It's a digital uh, marketing agency located in St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. They do, they help us with advertisement. Marie Kingsley is uh, ahead of it. Also we have a, my professional mathematicians who make a model of the games whom, uh, of the games we provide to our players mm -hmm. and they check if if it works correctly according to the mathematical layouts and odds that so the model actually works and it's mm -hmm. stable and uh, that I know uh, there is no place for for mistakes in favor of the platform or in favor or greater favor of uh, of, of the player. Like for example, that RNG is truly fair. That yeah. RNG truly unpredictable. They count. They do the statistics. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we have a legal firm that helps us in uh, building our legal structure and uh, uh, expand on different markets. Yeah. Also, we have a team who is responsible for um, presenting our company on major uh, exhibitions and events that travels mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. So okay. we have many people, like we we'll usually work, we don't have like a lot of, a lot of people, but the people like, that we have are highly professional. There is a separate group of, like a team that's mm. specializing in what they do. Mm. This how we work. Very good, very good. So where, where do you see the company going to? Like you, you've been in the, in the business for the last 15 years. Where do you see like Fire Lotto and crypto and gambling going in the next few years? Um, it's not just my opinion and we talk with other players on the market, very famous ones. Um, many people are sure that blockchain will be, bring more transparency into the gambling because this is a in, in online gambling. All the gambling is moving to online. Mm -hmm. Like it develops on online greatly. And the lack there is uh, transparency, uh, uh, fair gaming. So blockchain technologies are really solving many, many problems. Uh, like... Uh, uh, that we did in our project. It's applicable to any other products, gaming products. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm sure that uh, blockchain technologies will take more and more, will be implemented more and more in gaming. And uh, in five years, we will, it will change. It will actually change the gaming industry. Uh, you, you think and, you'll, you'll put the United States lottery out of business, right? Um, I th it's, uh, it's, the, it's a tricky question. We're not trying to put somebody away from the market. We're just trying to create a new technology and uh, provide it to, uh, to show the world how actually blockchain technologies can be useful and implemented in our everyday life. Because many people hear that blockchain, blockchain, bitcoins, but they don't really know how they influence their life. Mm. And I'm sure like many government in US, for example, that are, if, if we go online, we see how much fraud is made uh, in the lottery business and governments are trying to solve it. Maybe yeah. they will look at this technology more. They will take a closer look and mm -hmm. they will uh, find many interesting things and they will implement blockchain technologies in, in their business. So we're just creating a technology that can be useful for governments as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how big we're going to get to the moment, to this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you can make improvements, not necessarily pushing someone out of business, but just you being the best player in the business. Maybe, maybe that's going to be it. Yeah. Uh, you, you've been in business, as I say, for, for a long, long time and, and involved in different lottery operations. Mm -hmm. And obviously someone who's, who's been in business for a long time and always improving things, every now and then you have a failure every now and then something screws up and, and you learn a valuable lesson yeah. so what, what's been one of your favorite failures from the last few years well uh, we've been operating a lot on the on the russian market and mm -hmm. uh russian market um, was closed for gambling we do have uh, several casinos in russia but also sports betting is allowed but uh lottery and uh Online gaming is strictly prohibited. So we lost our all assets on this market and uh, that was a big failure. So this is why we looked for new technologies. We were looking for new technologies and new markets to where we can work and implement our knowledge and skills. Uh, the government could just come in and seize the assets in that example? It's not by seizing the assets. It's uh, just uh, by making out law, just by making laws that would say, for example, in two years, every, every, everything should be shut down. Right. Not well regulated, but shut down, you know, mm -hmm. and there's a mm -hmm. big difference between regulations and shutting down the business. It's just, just taking everybody out of the market. Okay. Painful. Painful. Yeah. Painful. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, in in addition one, to, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, go, go. Uh, like one real thing that I wanted to mention about the odds, because I said that the odds to win in the lottery are very small. Mm. But what, what we did, for example, in the fire lot, or why it would be also interesting for people to play, is um, the odds to win the jackpot is one to eight million. Right. And uh, so it's 30 times higher than a regular lottery. And we have our, due to the blockchain and the way it's organized, we make a draw every 24 hours. And usually mm -hmm. you have to wait for the draw at least one week. Yes. I don't know how yeah. often yeah, the yeah. draw takes place in uh, Australian national lottery, but in our lottery, people can become millionaires every, every day. Okay. So, uh, and we have a minimum guaranteed amount, so it's minimum one million dollars. And if if nobody uh, wins that one, like on on Monday, what happens to the money for Tuesday? Oh, it, uh, all the money that were not uh, spent as you know, to uh, the, all money that were not won that stayed on the platform, they just go to the price fund, and the jackpot goes up. Right. So all okay. the money that that nobody like the money that nobody won goes to go mm. to the jackpot and builds the jackpot. Right. But right. if somebody wins the jackpot, there is a minimum guaranteed amount which is deposited on the smart contract of the lodge, and people can see mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there's always be a one thousand one hundred Ethereum deposit on smart contract for people yep. to play for. And win. Very good.
Very good. So in, in addition to you, you've, you've had gambling for many years and you, you're playing sport and you're also an investor in, in crypto yourself. Uh, what, what's been the best investment that you've had? In, in my team. <laughs> First in my team, yeah, I found like a very nice team to work with. Yeah. We're talking about it. It's not a money investment. It's a, it's a sole investment. It's how much we spend with each other and how much how how we 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 treat, we would treat each other and also the biggest um asset that i've gained throughout my life is my family <laughs> that, that's so beautiful I, I think i want to come and work on your team now mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very good it's very good uh, you you obviously got a strong connection with the team and a, and a strong connection with the family so uh, w- would you advise, you know, people who are starting out in, in business these days, because it's a very different business market, sort of post-internet, post-blockchain than what it was back in the olden days when you open a store and, and put them out in the newspaper. What, what advice would you give to, to new business owners or, or people who want to start their own, their own ICO? Uh, well, go for your goal. Never give up and uh, deliver what you promise. Mm-hmm. Because um, what people say about you is like you can. Uh, it, um, there is a big issue in ICOs, and I'm really glad. And I'm really glad that now it's changing. There is a lot of fraud was going on last year mm-hmm. and previously. Yeah. So uh, really think about what you're doing and uh, deliver what you promise, and also always go for your goal. Never give up. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I understand you're sort of having the regulations turn against you in your own country would have been a, a bit of a problematic thing, but you're, you, as you say, never give up. You just keep, keep focusing. How, how else do you stay positive and motivated? Do you exercise? Do you eat well? Do you meditate? What do you do to, to keep focused? Well, I think that the key to a nice life, like to feel yourself good and uh, keep, keep yourself motivated is a healthy life. Because when you have power, uh, I don't. I'm not sure how you say it in English, but it was uh, that uh, that a strong soul is in a strong body. So yes, yes. It's so it's important to have a strong body to eat healthy, to do sports, and and uh, and that's uh, one of the keys to to still mo- to to stay uh, positive. <laughs> mm. because yeah because when you wake up and everything goes goes wrong and you go to a gym for example and you exercise and you give all this bad energy then you have a whole day and you get a lot of power and it keeps you going and going yeah i mean there's a lot of people who have a hard day and would go home and and drink too much or eat junk food or, or something like that so i'm glad you get it all out at the, at the gym yeah, I'm not saying that alcohol, for example, is bad I'm, or food is bad. I'm just saying that we have to uh, know how much is enough for us. And enough is usually is not that much how we usually do it. Mm. Enough is, we can have a glass of wine, for example, or I don't know, go to a nightclub and have fun or eat mm. something unhealthy because it is, we we'll also uh, get positive feelings out of it. But it's not it shouldn't become the way we live all the like every day. Yeah, a balance, as you, as you say, a healthy yeah, mind a in, in a healthy yeah. healthy body. Uh, I, I found out recently that the shoe brand ASICS, like A S I C S, mm-hmm. the shoe brand, actually is an acronym for a Latin phrase. I'm going to get the Latin wrong because I'm I'm not Italian, but it's um, anime sonore in corpora sonorum, which is a clean mind in a healthy body. So. There you go. That was a little shoe brand bit of trivia that I picked up. So that, that's very, very good. So uh, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate that you, you've been jet setting around. You, you've had a trip to China just last week. You're going to China again, I believe, this week to, to meet with some investors. Uh, how yeah, can we? Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, well, we're invited to Macau. Yeah. Uh, we had a great exhibition held on Hong Kong uh, last week. Uh, I was very uh, productive and uh, mm-hmm. we were invited to Hong Kong to one of the biggest casinos in Hong Kong 
Oh, in Macau? Yeah. To negotiate about uh, blockchain, online gambling and products we have. So once, if we make a deal, our community will will find out about it very fast. Well, the Chinese love to gamble as well. I think the Chinese might be sort of a half a step above the Australians as, as far as their gambling per capita. It's very, very big nice. industry. Yeah, so very good nice. luck to you, mate. With wealthy people. Yeah, very true. Like very true. So for, for us as, as investors, how do we find out more about FireLotter? You, you mentioned you're on the BTC exchange or can we still buy coins from, from your website? Where else can we get information and invest? Well, we have, uh, if people go online to firelotter.io, there'll mm -hmm. be all the uh, um, social media where we, pre uh, where we are, that people can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Telegram channel, so uh, people can find all the useful information on our ICOs web web page, fileauto.io. And uh, also, we put all the information about new listings and new events there right away after we after it happens. Excellent. So fileauto.io, and then yeah. follow whichever Twitter, Telegram, Facebook, whatever thing you like, yeah. but. Um, as I say, not necessarily, if, if you're not a gambler, like I'm, I'm not a gambler, I'm an investor. Um, if you are a gambler, obviously jump in and buy some Fire Lotto tokens because you're, okay. you're selling them back to the, to the originator at one and a half times the price for a start. That's going to give you better chances in the lotto. You've got one in, what do we say, 30 times the, the chance of winning the Fire Lotto yeah. than you have of one of the country's lottos. Um, but if you just want to hold on as an investment, obviously buying the fire lotto tokens then you're making 10 percent back on whatever everybody else is gambling and obviously this is going to be a, a growing industry it's a brilliant idea mate i love it i love it because there's, there's not very many cryptocurrencies that actually pay a return back to investors like they go up and down in value but there's not very many that pay a dividend or pay a yield out to investors so good on you for doing that so Thank you. Thank you again, Mikhail, for your time. Really Thank lovely you. chatting to you and love the project. Fantastic. Thank you. And um, again, guys, firelotto.io and search for it on the, on the telegrams and find out how to use it, what games to play and how to make money from it. Thanks, Mikhail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a great evening. Cheers. <laughs> Look inside and you will find all your wealth inside of you. Well, full starts inside your mind. Oh, yeah. What you send out comes back to you. What you send out comes back to you. Your heart is like a